Hi everybody. So today I want to do an unboxing of some stuff that I got from Amazon, uh, like the good old days of YouTube. I used to watch people unbox chemicals from a company called United Nuclear and I got a lot of joy from it. So I thought I'd share the equivalent of that, but this time it's electronic components from Amazon. So let's just uh, get opening. Oh, I just realized my address is on here. I'm gonna have to blur it out. <laughs> But, yeah. I basically restocked on some things because I was out. Uh, first thing is potentiometers. Yeah, potentiometers. You can see it here. But there are potentiometers, but also they have a switch uh, so that it's like a... Uh, road, rotary encoder, but not digital or not, not a rotary encoder. It's just a switch. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Yeah. It's a potentiometer with a switch on it. So let's see if it works here. Okay, it doesn't work. No. Uh, let me see here. Hey, there we go. Yeah, it does have a switch. So I'm thinking of using this in a new version of my uh, plasma spiral lamp to reduce the amount of switches uh, on the box. All right. Let's see what's next. Put that sign. Throw off the trash. My potentiometer. Next, some mini DC fans. I want to use these for various electronic projects and just to keep heat sinks cool, like uh, mini plasma generators, things like that. Eventually, I want to get into product design for the plasma toroid and I want to test out some different fans. So here's a set of six for like 10 bucks, I think. And another set, but even smaller. These are 30 millimeter fans for, I think they are used with Raspberry Pis. If you, if you take Raspberry Pi very seriously, you uh, eventually uh, add on a little fan to it to keep it cool or something, so. I thought it'd be nice to have an ultra small fan, which would be fun. And I can add this on some uh, ultra small plasma projects maybe in the future. Cool, six of those for 10 bucks once again. And this basically feels empty, funny enough, but definitely something in there. What do we got? Some switches. These are latching metallic push button switches. Uh, I'm redesigning my plasma spiral lamp so that it can, it truly can run forever because right now, uh, oh, there we go, yeah. Because right now the plasma spiral lamp can run for about like an hour, but then the base gets too hot because the fan doesn't efficiently cool the necessary heat sink. All right, that looks pretty well focused, so. Yeah. There you go, and this will be my main power switch. It can handle 120 volts at two amps, which is plenty for uh, my project. And I just like this, this switch better than uh, the other switch, the switch that I, the switch that I currently have on the plasma spiral lamp. A little easier to click than a big hard to flick power switch yeah it's the little things you know all right there's that <clears throat> one more what's this guy this guy's a little difficult to open oh wait gotta change my zoom Ugh. 
circuit boards. That's right. Single-sided universal PCB circuit boards. It's a little hard to open this. It's all plastic wrapped, so I'll go get some scissors. All right. Got some scissors. I hope you liked my opening technique there. Oh, a lot of tape. It's a little shoddy to open. Oh, here's something. This looks like a seam I can cut. boards so it looks different than I expected there's a, a grid of four equally spaced PCBs and there's the conducting side all right uh, Tesla Explorer suggested I, I get these so I did and I think this is a good size about the size of my palm there all right Next unboxing piece. The final countdown. Ooh, there's more than one thing in here. Yeah. We got some clip on ferrite. Uh, some clip-on ferrite filters for uh, filtering out RF noise uh, in my plasma toroid circuit or other high-frequency circuits. That'll be very useful. Because I need this because I've been killing my fans because the fans are connected directly to the um, 5 volt or 24 volt power supply that the high voltage circuit is supplied by and so the high frequency noise goes back into the uh, fans and kills them too often so it's time I get these and then ugh, one pound of this what you're about to see I think I know what this is Oh, I actually thought this, oh, this is really big. Uh, I actually thought this was my solder, but it actually makes sense. It's this ferrite. $10 for this ferrite. It's gigantic. Absolutely huge. Look at this. Dink. Oh my gosh, this is huge, man. Look, I'm a primary. Wait, I'm a ZVS flyback. I'm a flyback transformer. It's a one-to-one -one ratio of finger, finger turns. Okay, that's... All right, so summarize what we got. We got ferrite, circuit board, ferrite clip-ons, 40 millimeter fans, 30 millimeter fans, uh, switch potentiometers, 120 volt push button switches. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day, great rest of your weekend, and happy electronics making. Bye.